Every single product you send into Amazon has to have a barcode on it. So Amazon can scan it and know what product this is that's just sitting on their shelves. Now the problem is, it's so confusing. There's two different types of barcodes. We have your standard UPC barcode, which is seen almost everywhere. And then we have the Amazon specific barcode, which looks quite a bit different. Now you want to use the Amazon barcode and here's why it's important. When Amazon scans a regular UPC code, all that tells them is which product they are looking at, nothing else. But when they scan an Amazon barcode, this tells them what product they're looking at as well as what seller sent it into their warehouse. The UPC code doesn't tell them the seller. So when you send in a product with a UPC code only, which you can do, if there is any other person selling that same product as you, Amazon doesn't know who sent it in. So if those other sellers are doing things like sending in fake product or product that's broken or not in the condition they said they're selling it as, you can get dinged for that. Because when somebody buys a product that uses only a UPC code, Amazon goes to their warehouse, finds the closest one to the end customer, and then will ship that one out to them. They don't know who what seller sent that in. So I always recommend using this Amazon barcode. Now with barcodes, you're going to need one for every single different variation of a product you have. So let's assume this is a 12 pack and it's red. If I put out a 16 pack that's red, I'm going to need a, another barcode to put on that. But for every single unit, that's the exact same. So every 12 pack that is red, those are all getting the exact same barcode. You only need one. You're just going to put it on there time after time after time, maybe a thousand units you're sending in. If I put in one, let's say I sell a three pack that's green, that is going to get its own barcode unique from every other one. And I'm going to get the same barcode for every three pack that is green. Just over and over again, copying the barcode. Say you do want to sell a three pack and a four pack. Well, can Amazon just go to their shelves and just collect single individual units and send them to the end customer and count out three or four? No, they are never going to do that. So your final product always has to be shipped in one unit, the complete thing that's going to be sent to the end customer. So in order to get the Amazon barcode, you need to create a listing inside seller central. This is simply us putting our product into Amazon's catalog. That's all we're doing right now. So we're going to be creating a dummy listing. You know, this is just to get it in Amazon's catalog. So our picture it might not even be our product. Our title is going to be super basic. We just need the very baseline information to put into their system. So it gets in there. That's it. And at that point we can then download our barcode and we can also go back at any point and change our listing. So later on, you will go in and put in your final pictures and your final title. But for now, we're just getting it into their system. I have an entire video that's going to show you first in link in the description, how to go in seller central, what buttons to click so you can create your listing and then download the Amazon FNSKU label for your product. Now there's a huge problem though that's getting these new sellers confused and I was very confused myself. Amazon wants you to use this label, the Amazon label, but you actually have to have a UPC code to get this label. It's, it's crazy because when you create your listing, one of the things Amazon asks you for is a unique product identifier, which the only real solution you can use is a UPC code. So you have to get a UPC code in order to get the Amazon label. It's kind of crazy. But there's a very, very good reason they do this because the UPC code is unique outside of Amazon. It's unique everywhere in the world. So there is not a, there's not two products anywhere in the world that share the exact same UPC code. This prevents Amazon from having any redundancies. Imagine a world where there is no unique product identifier and say 30 sellers want to come to Amazon and sell Tide detergent. The problem is there's 50 different sizes and types of Tide detergent. In the current system, you can just type in the UPC code as a seller and it will bring up the listing for that product if it exists on Amazon. But without that, 
there will likely be multiple sellers selling accidentally selling the wrong size or variation or what will most definitely happen so instead of me selling my tie detergent on a listing that already exists i'll probably just end up creating a new one because that's easier so now customers are going to search for tie detergent and there's going to be 12 search results for the exact same product whereas amazon wants one search result but 12 sellers on that listing so it's a very important key to play it seems kind of weird with us because we're manufacturing our own products so of course nobody else is selling that but that's just not how thousands in fact millions of products work on amazon's platform so getting a upc code is incredibly easy it's cheap too i recommend a site i've been using for a long time called upc bay.com you can get five upc codes for like 10 or 15 dollars that way you have enough in case you make a mistake and have to redo it because you cannot use them again once it's used that is the only listing you can create with them ever there's a lot of sites you can buy these cheap barcodes from and there's a rumor going around that they're not legitimate that they're going to get your account suspended because you don't have ownership to them and there is some legitimacy to this rumor. Go to eBay and try and buy some barcodes there. You'll find out quickly that those sellers are selling these same exact barcodes to every single seller. And they didn't even have a right to sell them in the first place. They never purchased them from the actual organization that controls UPC codes. See, there's this organization called GS1. You can go check out their website. But they are the organization that has created and now monitors upc codes see back in the day early 2000s 1990s anybody could buy upc codes from this company gs1 and then they could resell them to however whoever they wanted however they pleased uh, gs1 then realized oh man we're losing a lot of money because people are buying in bulk and then reselling to smaller people and they're getting a massive discount when they buy a hundred thousand upc codes at once so we as GS1 are losing money. So then they got a little selfish and they changed the system in the early 2000s. So now you have to go to GS1 and buy barcodes directly from them if you want to get some from them. See, GS1 changed their contract, but the contract they had in the early 2000s is still valid. It's legitimate. And these companies are legally able to resell barcodes to you. Now, this has some sellers concerned because if you go look in the GS1 barcode database and look up the barcodes you bought, it's going to say they're owned by a different company. That's not you, which is who originally purchased them from GS1. But again, they are legally able to resell them to you with no repercussions, nothing sketchy going on. You need to remember why Amazon wants you to have a UPC code in the first place, and it's to reduce redundancy. So as long as these third-party companies like UPC Bay have never sold these UPC codes to anyone else ever in the world, and they're not using them for products themselves, then you have a UPC code that is unique to you and only you and no other product in the world. And that is the goal of Amazon. There are also millions and millions of products on Amazon that started their listings using these UPC codes that were repurchased from one of these big wholesalers. Anybody who started a product more than three or four years ago, this is the only way we knew to do it. And so any listing you see that's more than four years old was created using these. And these are some of the best selling products on Amazon. Do you think Amazon's just going to all of a sudden say this isn't okay, even though it legally is okay, and shut down many of their best selling products on the platform? They would literally shut down millions of products overnight if they attempt to do this. You think they're dumb enough to do that? No they're not so not only is it legal to do it would also be incredibly stupid for amazon to shut them down now as you scale you may want to purchase your own gs1 barcodes but they are incredibly expensive 100 of them cost you a thousand dollars and you have to pay 150 dollars every single year just to keep them going in order to access your amazon barcodes you simply need to go into the inventory screen click the edit button on the right hand side of the screen click print item labels, and then it's gonna ask you how many you want to print because you're gonna be downloading a PDF of your barcodes and then sending that to your supplier. They will then print it out, uh, pages upon pages of them, and then put them on your product. So typically, 
you want to select that you want to use 30 up paper. This is just a standard design that has 30 labels per standard sheet of paper. It's the most common one used. And then send that PDF to your supplier and they'll know what to do from there. As a new seller, I was incredibly confused by this topic and just Amazon in general. This is still the scariest thing that I have ever done to this day. Now that I'm experienced, I have created a 12 hour course for all of you new beginners. If you're interested in that, that'll be in the description. If not, thank you for joining me.